Hi, this is Edgar again, and welcome back to Watch Facts University. In this episode, we're going to look at the new CSV file. Uh, the CSV file is used for entering multiple items into your Watch Facts portal inventory, and it just makes it a lot easier to enter items instead of entering each item individually. So let's go ahead and get started. So in this episode, I'm just going to walk you through the CSV. I'm going to enter a sample watch. And this is just going to help you um, go on and get started. So for column A, serial number. So the serial number is the unique identifier for the, for the watch. So it's basically the watch's fingerprint. So I'm just going to enter a sample serial number. Dealer SKU. This is how you keep track of your inventory. So each item is going to have an individual SKU. So I'll just make one up. Model, pretty self-explanatory. This is the model of the watch. Uh, for this case, let's say I'll enter a Rolex Daytona. So for brand, Rolex. Reference number, uh, two-tone Daytona. Product description, this is where you uh, describe your product and this is where it'll come out in the Amazon description. So just I'll just keep it pretty brief so condition type if you see here you see this little drop down so this means this is one of the uh, predetermined fields where if you enter anything that's not here for example if you enter anything that's that doesn't say uh, that's not new with tags new without tags new with defects or pre-owned then the CSV will not upload so you have to pick one of these options when there's a drop down so for this case it's a pre-owned Daytona gender again a predetermined field it's a men's watch so here is where we enter our images. So I'll just get them from my computer. So here is the link to my cert to my Dropbox server. So the main image is the is where you would put an image of the watch head on. Back image is the back of the watch, side is the side, and you must include a serial image of the watch. And this is very important because let's say a customer is trying to make a claim and they return a watch with a different serial number, you know, for some type of fraud scheme. Um, we have this image to, uh, to, you know, to back you up as a seller. So case material type, <clears throat> says it's a two-tone watch, it's doing 18 karat gold, dial color, <clears throat> have a black dial. So just so you know, all these fields in red are watch facts portal, um, required fields. So these uh, you have to enter, and these are just basically like the global settings of your of your listing. Okay, so display type is analog display, watch movement type, Swiss automatic, watch year, 1999. So box and papers, authentic box and papers means the the original um, box and papers from the manufacturer. You know the papers with the serial number, possibly the the uh, certified seller from Rolex, and possibly even the, the first owner of the watch. Box only. This is the authentic box from Rolex. Generic box. If you have your own proprietary boxes, uh, you'll select this one. And manufa this manufacturer's papers, it only comes with the papers from Rolex or none. And in this case, I have no box or no papers. So water testing. 
Um, I always service and polish my watches. I pressure test them, make sure they're in great shape, and make sure they look like almost brand new. So they meet the specifications because they pass water pressure test. External wear, like new in box. Um, if that's if it's brand new. Um, excellent. It's near mint. Good. Um, there's moderate wear, fair. There's heavy wear, and salvage is if the watch is basically in pieces but uh you can s see more information on this on the watch facts university on the external wear guidelines so this one is excellent because it was just recently polished functionality so it passed the uh functionality test on the time graph because the watch was recently serviced um so there's this one watch does not track time properly so maybe it's gaining like 10 12 seconds a day and features uh, let's see what this last one is features does not does not work does not perform properly maybe the chronograph um, doesn't work or just plain and simple watch does not work but this watch works fine so authenticity another predetermined required field so original, which is the case for my watch, it's untouched from the factory and it has only uh, parts from Rolex. Um, authentic with generic leather strap or aftermarket strap. This is the only type of aftermarket enhancement that you can make that is allowed on Amazon. Or um, let's say authentic with one non-factory enhancement, let's say it has a diamond dial aftermarket. Um, this would not be eligible for Amazon anything under with one or more um, aftermarket enhancements that isn't an, a strap will not be eligible for Amazon so inspection comment um, this is where you write uh, notes about the inspection but I, I can just write my watch was recently serviced You can just ignore that. That must be a bug in the CSV, but that will get fixed. This is where you write your own inspection comments. So the offline price, uh, 9,000. So Amazon price is what I would sell on Amazon for, so 9,500. So this in orange is a platform section. So let's say you don't want to put on any platforms, you would leave all these prices empty. So for Amazon, I would like to put the, the listing on Amazon. If you just want to list on Amazon, you don't have to fill any of these other yellow ones. So Morphe dealer price is one of our auctions. So if you would like to send it to an auction, you can put a price here. Second time, that's our proprietary site. Um, eBay price, if you would like to post your item on eBay, you would have to fill this one. And just keep in mind, you'll have to fill in the rest of these. So for eBay, put 9500 same as Amazon. So format, we have auction and fixed price. So fixed price is basically like a buy it now. But auction is great for getting rid of inventory. Duration, we have 3, 5, 7, 10, and 30 days. And we also have GTC, which means the watch will be up on eBay indefinitely. So I'll select that one. So MPN is the uh, product number, which in this case will be the reference number. So 16523. Product UPC, if you have this, um, you would enter that here, but I don't have the UPC for this particular item. They usually come on the new watches on the tags. You could put the UPC there and it will just be, it will definitely help your rankings on eBay to get your items seen and categorized properly. So country manufacturer, you have to select the, the country manufacturer. Um, so Switzerland, I believe is CH. Or I could just put US. So best offer enabled. 
you can either have a uh, receive offers for your item so that's a good way just to get some some interest from buyers so minimum best offer price this is the absolute lowest you would accept for your item so anything under that will be automatically rejected anything over that will be sent to you for review so listing title this is where you'll put your your heading for ebay so like <coughs> So HTML description, I don't have this, but this is where you would put, um, let's say you want a theme on your listing, this is where you'll paste your HTML code. So shipping type is flat rate. So your service, I usually do FedEx today, but there's many options here. Uh, shipping costs, totally up to you, I just put $50. Dispatch time, I try to, you know, one day handling just to make sure the payment went through. So returns accepted, I always like to accept returns because it just gives the buyer more confidence to purchase the product. <clears throat> I always do either 30 or 14 day return option. Uh, refund option, I do money back or exchange. But there's also a couple, there's just money back or money back and replacement. <clears throat> so shipping costs, I always make the buyer pay. I like adding a restocking fee. So it just gives me confidence as a seller. So that, you know, the buyer won't just buy the watch, wear it for a cocktail party, and then return it the next day. So I like to add a restocking fee to kind of deter that kind of behavior. <clears throat> so international shipping services. Uh, personally, I do a FedEx International Priority. <clears throat> so the cost is obviously a lot higher. So if you would like to, uh, the shipping locations, I always like to do worldwide. Tax table. It charges taxes uh, depending on the buyer's location. <clears throat> so that's store category one, jewelry. Store category two, watches. Just helps um, list your item properly. The proper categories on eBay. So all these in green are optional fields. So if you like to add more images, you could just add them here. And bullet points for Amazon. <coughs> there are three already that are automatically placed on your Amazon listing. You could put two optional ones. So let's say like band length, image band, and bullet point five service recently. Band type is a preset. Band material type is a predetermined field. So, so it's a two tone stainless steel. Band length, eight inches. So band size, it's a men's long. It's pretty long. Band width, I I honestly don't know. I think it's twenty two millimeters. So twenty two, and then you select the Unit measurement in some millimeters. <coughs> so band color, it's mostly primary colors, so I select stainless steel silver. I believe it's a uh, fold over or deployment logo. Case color, it's a primary. So silver, <coughs> case finish, it's polished, case thickness, I don't remember, but I believe it's 42, no, so about 13 millimeters, case diameter, 40 millimeter, so unit of measurement, millimeters, so the metal stamp, it's 18 carats, Bezel material, it's yellow gold. Bezel function, it's a tachymeter. Crystal, there's all these options, but in my case, it's a sapphire, anti-reflective sapphire. Item shape, the watch is a round shape. 
Tundra type has date only. Water resistance, I believe it's 300 meters. So 300 and then your measurement meters. And honestly, I leave these two blank. And that's pretty much it for the CSV. So you, just a couple things to remember. Green is optional. This yellow amber color is for either eBay or the platform section. And red is mandatory uh, watch facts portal global settings. So here are the values. It's just easier for you to memorize these. These are the values set for the predetermined fields. So just keep in mind when you're saving the file, save it as a CSV file. So I'm going to save it to my desktop. <coughs> And I save it as a CSV. So CSV comma delimited, save. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys.